All right. Let's talk uh, nano drac fuselage. So, I've had a couple people ask me what the procedure is on this. We've done video on the wings. Um, the reason I have never really did a video on the nano drac is because it builds exactly like the mini drac and the big drac. But uh, let's clear up a few things. Um, I'm gonna take a few seconds here. Um, and we'll break it down probably into a couple short videos. Um, basically, when you get the nano drac, you get its spars, okay? Inside is the mains. You pull those guys out of both of these. So you got a front and a rear, and you pull the mains out so you don't cut them. So you basically now you have sleeves. Um, and what I do with these sleeves is I take one the longer one or the shorter one, either way, hold it up to the fuselage and take that, take that fuselage width and mark one of the sleeves and then I cut it. The leftover pieces are what will end up going into the wings, but I've already installed those into the wings. So you'll end up splitting this piece in half. So you got the front main, which ends up getting cut right down to the exact width of the fuselage and then you have two pieces and what you'll end up doing is holding them up here and you'll mark it and cut a sleeve and then same with the other wing and you'll mark that and you'll make the sleeves for these but we've already started with the wings first so i've already cut and i've put some sleeves in these wings already so but the main part is just pull the spars out of these so you're not cutting <laughs> the main spar so um, and it's the same with the back one. When you get done and you cut this off here, this remaining piece ends up getting cut in half and it ends up being the rear sleeve on the wing. So, <clears throat> pretty simple. Um, so what I've done, well, I've sped it up instead of you having to painfully watch me do this. I've taken the sleeves and I've cut them to length. I've put them in that channel, but prior to putting them in that channel, I roughed the channel up with a little bit of grip tape on the end of a spar. So when I actually put those sleeves in there, before I did, I added like four or five drops of super glue down in that channel. Then I ran a popsicle stick back and forth just to lightly smear the super glue. And then I activated it in that channel, the sleeve, and then I pushed it down on both sides to hold it into the bottom of the channel. So I basically did that front and rear. Um, and then when I put the caps on, I usually put the caps on just like I have here. I put, I had put a little dab of goop on the top of the spar before I put the cap on, and then I pinned this in place so I only have a little bit of goop at each end on top of the, on top of the sleeve where they touch, and then I left them exposed up above just a little bit. So now I have these pinned where there's a little bit of goop drawing on the inside there so now they're pinned and now what I'm going to end up doing is taking these now that they're dry I'm going to pull these pins off the front and the rear sleeves again you can see the sleeves I left them up so we can end up trimming them flush so now the sleeves have been glued at each end with goop and then held in overnight while they dried and now I'll go ahead and I'll spread this I'll spread this open here and all I usually do is like lean my belly on it, take the goop with a long nozzle on it, and I'll spread the back end open a little bit like that. And then I'll spread, you know, and I'll drop that in there and I'll run goop in there. And then I'll come back and stick this nozzle down in here and I'll put goop in here. Same with both of these. You can see how we can spread them apart and I'll put goop in those and then I'll flex them back together. And then, you know, basically, pin those to where it can sit overnight and then tomorrow I will come back with a large snap razor and I will just cut that contour off. And then we're going to end up coming after that and putting your snap razor about so long after this is trimmed smooth tomorrow and then we're going to take the snap razor into that channel all the way down all the way across this. These will be trimmed to the contour of the, of the fuselage and then these will get trimmed all the way down and run those in there. But prior to doing that, I used a Sawzall blade. 
before you put those main spars in, whether you do them before or after the caps, I took a Sawzall blade and I ran it in here and I sunk the motor plate in with super glue. So I slid it in, um, put super glue in there, slid it in, made it, made it fit nicely, pressed it on the table, which you can do it no matter whenever, whatever, you know, before or after the spar caps, it doesn't really matter. So I did is I put it down in there and then I end up pressing it down in there and then activating it. So the rear motor mounts in with super glue right now. So the next process after these dry, after I put glue in here and then I put all these spars in here, I'm going to put all of the spars in the fuselage, but I'm not going to glue them. So you're gonna have them in there to where you can manipulate this fuselage back and forth. So what happens is tomorrow, after this glue dries, I'm going to put all these spars in and then they're gonna be loose. And then what I'm going to do once they're loose and everything is in, I'm going to slide the wings on, make sure everything is nice and straight, and I'm going to make sure that the trailing edges and everything match. Because once when those spars are in there and loose, you can manipulate the trailing edge of this plane back and forth to get these to match. If you glue all the spars in this fuselage and you don't have the wings held up or pinned, a lot of times what I'll do is to make sure that all of this matches here at the end of the day, is I will do, and I will pin these wings right on here because I'm going to drop all of these spars in these channels and then I'm going to slide these wings up and I'm gonna have all of the spars loose. I'm gonna manipulate the trailing edge so it's nice and straight while it's pinned together. And once it's pinned together and everything is straight, I'm going to drop some super glue right down on the top of these spars. And you can do them both at the same time. I just don't have the other wing stuck on there and pinned in place. So you can get the wings incidents done on both sides and pinned straight with all of the spars in the wings. Make sure they're straight, manipulate it back and forth, up and down until they're straight, and then super glue these channels while the spars are in there and let it soak in and wick up and then activate them. That super glue will get down into that cut bead around that fiberglass spar and it will lock this incidence on this fuselage nice and straight. So that's, that's basically what your plan is, is to get this nice and straight. Um, you know, you still got to, after these are dry tomorrow, we'll cut these off. I'll go ahead and throw those razor lines in there. I'll get all the spars and everything in here, get these wings pinned up to the fuselage and get them straight manipulate the fuselage with its spars in it while they're not glued to make sure they're straight and then activate everything and then get everything straight. And at that point, at the end of the day, your fuselage and your trailing edge incidents will match. Because I have some people building the fuselage, but they don't realize it when they built it, they either built it bent kind of up or built it bent kind of down, not realizing that if they take the time to, and the thing is, is this, this fuselage is a little bit thinner than the, than the mini drac, so, and, and the big drac for sure. So it's a little bit more apt to give you a little bit of distortion on the trailing edge. This is an easy way during the build to lock in this trailing edge nice and straight so all of these match. And putting the spars in there and matching them up, having all of the spars in the fuselage and having everything matched up before you lock it, will get you to that place. So um, I appreciate you watching. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll upload this video and then tomorrow when I put the spars in the fuselage, we will do another video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to post this video up and we will start the questions. Thanks guys.